This is a tutorial on the Pacha Nudge Curve Key. To bring up the tool, go here to Nudge Curve Key or maybe Hotkey it. So it will nudge curves. The sections do not have to be contiguous. Here we're nudging. And notice we can change the increment here. So this is in Y, which is the value. Now if you select more than one curve, it's going to go with the first one in the list. So I've got this and this. It's only going to work on, um, let's have to deselect this on uh, this here. Now X means time, so if I do this, it's going to shift it over. Now if I've got something weird, let's say I've got a uh, value here that's uh, not an integer. You look at this to uh, editing the curve key you see that it's fractional so if we turn on the integer snap which is really the normal mode what it'll do is it will force it to go to an integer value again you'll see the first or the last value here now the reason integer snap isn't on all the time is if you're doing focal length this might be a little bit awkward because uh, it's in centimeters so it might try to move it in 10 millimeter increments but normally you want integer snap on. If you've got any missing keyframes, you can park at the frame and you can do a pickup here. And whatever the value is will be part of the curve. And then you go to previous key and next key. And then there's a fresh refresh button.